Hey everybody, Professor Klein back here in the Human Anatomy Lab to bring you a demo on the Circle of Willis model. Let's begin. All right, so first looking at this model, it might look like a bunch of just red wires all over the place. So what is this? Where are we at? Well, down here would be more so the neck of the body. And up in here, these are arteries surrounding the brain. So imagine the brain with all these arteries and many, many more in the body. So it would look something like this. See this picture popping up on your screen? There are so many arteries that supply the brain. We're just going to cover a few in this right, so model. First, we got to come down to here where the neck region would be. And these would be the vertebral arteries. Notice there's a left there's a right vertebral and they come up and they merge together into what's called the basilar artery, the basilar artery right here. So first thing I want you to notice is these two vertebrals, it kind of forms the letter V, merge into the basilar artery. That would be like over here on this cervical vertebrae model. See this artery here? This artery here, these are the vertebral arteries going through the transverse foramen, up the neck, through the foramen magnum, and merging into that basilar artery right here at the base of the brain. This would be like the brain stem as it pops into the skull. So this is what we're looking at right here, which means the vertebral arteries are the most posterior pathway to get to the brain. The most anterior and larger and more main pathway is the internal carotid artery. This is this one wrapping its way up and around and eventually popping out deep in the base of the brain. So it's a big artery. You can see it on the left. I'll rotate it around so you can see it from a posterior view coming up and through there. So now when we're in here, let me move the brain out of the way. Let's go to this circle of Willis. So this is the circle of Willis, the cerebral arterial circle. And this right here is what I call a roundabout, but it's a roundabout that blood can travel either way around this in case one side gets blocked it has an alternative pathway to get blood to the brain because it's really important to get blood to the brain so what are we looking at here and just covering the major ones when you're coming up the basilar it immediately goes into what's called the posterior cerebral that's this one branching off here you got one on the right one on the left posterior cerebral but then notice number 25, it's really, really thin. This is what's called the posterior communicating artery. It's kind of like a bridge for the circle of Willis. Keep going up, and this is where the internal carotids, check this out, this is where the internal carotids enter, and right where they enter, there's an artery that branches off kind of in the middle of the brain, so this is called the middle cerebral artery one more here way anterior you guessed it is the anterior cerebral artery there is a little bridge you guys see what the probe is right now there's a little bridge which is called the anterior communicating artery all right that's the video on the circle of willis model here I'm Professor Klein from the Human Anatomy Lab at Ohio University. Thanks for watching.